Hi, and welcome to another class of the DIY MIDI controller workshop. This is our third class of our free three class course, where you are learning how to make a MIDI controller using an Arduino, a protoboard, and some components. In the last class, we learned how to make the circuit, we learned how to make this circuit that you're seeing here, and in today's class, we're gonna learn about the software, about the Arduino's ID, uh, how to upload the code in the board, and we are gonna make it work, make it become a MIDI controller and play uh, with it a little bit on Ableton Live. And in the end, I'm gonna talk about how you can increase your possibilities through our uh, complete course in order to become a DIY pro. So watch uh, until the end and I promise you that you're gonna like it. And so, to start, we're gonna download the Arduino's IDE, uh, go to the website arduino.cc, download, and here you have the versions available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Uh, and because I'm using Mac, I would uh, download this one. And you can also download previous versions if necessary. After you download it and install it, you will open the Arduino's ID. First, I'm going to open a file without anything, just to show you. This is like a text editor which uh, uses C-based language. But before I talk about what are you going to do here, you're gonna come here to the menu and take a look. Like a common software, you have some options like opening recent files, saving, and etc. And what I want you to do now is come into Tools, Board, and choose your board. In my case, I'm using an Arduino Uno, but if you are using another board, just select your board. And here, in Serial Port, you will choose the port that your, Ardu your Arduino is connected. In my case, it's this TTY USB modem. On Windows, I believe it's usually the COM4 or something. Now, you're going to open an example go to Basics, and Blink. This is basically the first code that everybody uses at the first time in the Arduino. And here in the IDE, you have these two circles. One is Verify and one is Upload. The Verify is used to verify if there is any error in the code. So if the code hasn't any error, it will show Done Compiling. Then you press Upload and the code will be uploaded to your board. This code here makes an LED to blink, which comes embedded in the Arduino board, as you can see it blinking here in my board. If you want to play with this, here where it says, uh, says Delay, where it says 1000, we can change the interval which those LEDs will blink. Then, go to that link below, which says Code and Download and open it. This is the code that will make the Arduino become a MIDI controller. Now, I'm going to show you how you can modify the code in order to suit your needs. I marked with a star the things that you can modify in the code. Actually, you can modify whatever you want, but the options that you can easily modify it and you will probably want to modify are those with the, with the star. The options are number of buttons, number of potentiometers, value of the notes, value of the control change, and MIDI channel. First thing is choosing the number of buttons or switches. You can use how many buttons you want that are possible to use in your board. To know how many pins are available in your board, check the Arduino website or type the model of your Arduino followed by the word pins like Arduino Uno pins on Google Images, and you will be able to see how many there are. The next thing is entering the pins that your buttons are connected. Then, do the same thing for your potentiometers. Choose the number of potentiometers or analog ports. In the analog ports, you will write with an A in front, like A0, a1, A2, and so on. Then, 
you will choose the MIDI channel. In this case, it's 1, but you can choose between 1 and 16. Next is the lowest note of your controller. In this case, if your controller has 4 buttons, the first note will be 36, the next 37, 38 and 39. And these notes will follow the order of your pins, like here. So, this is 36, this 37, 38 and 39. And here you will choose your lowest control change, in this case 1. If you have more potentiometers, they will be 1, 2, 3 and etc. And you need to put them in the desired order too, just like the buttons. Maybe you will find that your potentiometer is sending data without you moving the potentiometer. If this happens, come to VAR threshold and increase this value until it solves the problem. Now, just upload the code and we are almost done. Almost. There are two ways to communicate via MIDI, or using a physical MIDI port or using the USB. In this tutorial, we are going to use the USB for practical reasons. MIDI is a protocol which is used as a language to communicate between synthesizers, computers and several other things, but unfortunately our Arduino USB uses the serial protocol. For solving this problem, we need a software that will convert the serial protocol that is sent uh, by the USB port to the MIDI protocol, so we need a converter from serial to MIDI. Now go to the other link below and go to the Hairless MIDI webpage. Here in its website you can download it, there's versions for Mac and Windows and I don't know if there's a version for Linux, but maybe? And what this software does? It converts serial to MIDI, so download it and install it. Here's my hairless MIDI opened, so to make it work you click it here and here you will choose the port that your Arduino is connected. If selected debug MIDI messages, you can see exactly what is coming through the software. Notice that uh, the notes that are coming from my controller, when you press it sends velocity 127 and when you release it, it sends velocity 0. And here we send MIDI CC1, which goes from 0 to 127. CC1 is the same one that we have on keyboards modules, for example. Now, there's only one more step and we'll be done. This process is different in Windows and Mac. I will show you uh, how to do it on a Mac, but you can easily do it in Windows using the software Loop B in the links below. So, go to your Finder, Utilities, Audio and MIDI Config. Go to Windows and click Show MIDI Studio. What we need to do here is create a virtual MIDI port. So, the serial data will come from the Arduino through the USB, then it will be converted to MIDI on a hairless MIDI, which we will send to the virtual MIDI port that we are going to create now. And this uh, MIDI port will send the MIDI to our DAO. Open the YAC driver and click the device is connected. Here you can create several MIDI ports. I have two in case I want a MIDI out and a MIDI in, but in this case one is enough. This being done, we are ready to use our controller with a DAW. I'm going to use Ableton Live, but it can be used with any software that accepts MIDI. Come to Preferences, MIDI, and here in Input, Choose track and remote in your YAC driver. And that's it. Now I'm going to give you an example. I already made my map in here where uh, I'm going to trig clips and turn effects on and off and control a bit repeat with the potentiometer. So let's see.
that's it. You have your MIDI controller, super cheap and working perfectly. But what if I want to get uh, deeper uh, to learn how to make my own codes or to understand other people's code to adapt and make my own? What if I want to use other sensors like distance sensors to make a MIDI theremin or how can I use encoders uh, to make like a jog wheel uh, or how can I use MIDI to control motors or lights or just how to put like tons of potentiometers and buttons to make my own Frankenstein and how can I make the perfect enclosure to my controller? How can I make a professional good looking controller that I can take to the stage or to the studio or even make an art installation? So to answer all these questions, I prepared a complete course that will teach you how to become a pro in the DIY music world. It's a course that will teach programming, electronics and a lot of stuff related to give you all the abilities you need so your limit will be your imagination. So don't miss my next video where I'm gonna talk about everything you should know about it. And if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments below telling me what you're planning to build. For me, it was like a really pleasure giving you uh, these classes and seeing all the feedback and see that we have lots of music makers around the world. So stay safe and go make something.